the kids uh, who, who are uh, enrolled in the ACE program are kids who are identified because, historically, it was because the police had picked them up because they had committed a fairly, sometimes serious offense, sometimes not so serious, but they were prior to age 10. And in terms of our county, uh, the county can't do anything to kids who commit crimes prior to age 10. And so uh, the county attorney and the police department and Ramsey County Human Services about 12 years ago, maybe, well, I guess it's been more like 13 or 14 years now, uh, developed an initiative called the ACE program. It stands for All Children Excel, which was specifically designed to work with those kids who are identified because they had committed some kind of a crime prior to age 10. And then the county attorney's office basically decided that just because they committed a crime didn't mean that they were on a trajectory leading to deeper criminal involvement. And so the county then developed a screening instrument to be able to identify those kids whose uh, trajectory was such that they were very, very likely to become deeply, deeply involved in the criminal justice system. And so the goal of the ACE program was to uh, do an early intervention with kids prior to age 10. And a lot of the ages of our kids tend to run from age five to about eight when we initially engage them. And so that's the kids we're working with, mm -hmm. identified very young. And uh, in the early days of ACE, uh, we kept all the cases open until they turned 18. Now, I think we have a little more enlightened view. We, we don't necessarily have to. Some of the cases were closing at, at age 14, 15, 16. Many of them, a number of them, though, are still staying open until age 18. Because of the pro profound amount of trauma that most of these kids have experienced in their life, and because of the, uh, a lot of these kids are highly, highly externalizing in their behavior, uh, it's, it's a very volatile combination, especially when you look at the number of these kids who have been sexualized by adults. And so you've got uh, situations that really do demand long-term case management. Mm -hmm. uh, and probably, quite honestly, if we were really uh, doing the right thing, we would probably continue to provide support for these kids until well into their 20s. But, but well, again, you do. I think some we, of the case managers do have we, contact with we, all the kids. We, we do, but we do it informally. Yeah. Uh, technically, the cases close at age right. 18, but the, the fact of the matter is uh, many of our uh, alumni, graduates of ACE, stay in contact with staff as well as the agency, and, mm -hmm. and many of them are now in their early 20s. Mm -hmm. Uh, our county attorney partner used to uh, say that about 80 to 85 percent of the parents had extensive criminal backgrounds themselves. I, I suspect that's probably still true, even though that's not. We don't we don't uh, evaluate that the same way that we did in the in the early uh, part of this decade. Uh, there's a very very high rate of parental chemical dependence going on. There's a very high incidence of violence in the family, particularly domestic abuse. Uh, a lot of the research with our kids has indicated that while there's a fair amount of, of physical and sexual abuse of the kids, uh, there's probably the most profound type of abuse with the kids is, is severe neglect. A lot of these kids are coming from families where parents have such extenuating circumstances, either because of their own addictions, because of their own uh, criminal behavior, because of their own um, uh, inability to, to establish relationships that are productive and nonviolent. Uh, a lot of the parents are extremely preoccupied with their own drama and crises. And so, Consequently, uh, it, it's not unusual for our ACE kids to be parentified. They're functioning as substitute parents. They're trying to take care of younger sibs. They're trying to, uh, sometimes they act out as a way to, you know, call attention to either themselves or a sibling or the family situation, etc. Um, and, and, and so that's kind of the norm in terms of the ACE parent profile. Now, one of the things that's always important for me to comment on, and this is my subjective belief, is that I believe uh, regardless of the parents' behavior and inadequacies, all of our parents deeply, deeply love their kids and are committed to their kids and would both die or kill for their kids. <laughs>